This conference will Okay, uh, we will be starting our next topic that is PPWM integration. Okay, so the topics that we are going to cover there, we will see generation of TR, transfer requirement for components during production order release normally. Okay, so, so for PPWM integration, there will be a TR, transfer requirement generation for WMT, for WMT. Okay, that how to generate that we will see. Then settings required for PP and WM interface. Okay, that I will show you in the system. Then supply area, creation of production supply area. Okay, what is this production supply area? Why it is created? We will see. Then production supply area determination. How this production supply area is determined? Okay, we will see. Then creation of control settings, control cycle, how the control cycle is created, we will see and then settings in production scheduling profile okay so we have to do some settings in our pp production scheduling profile what are those settings we will see okay so these are the topics we will cover i will show you the wm side settings also and also we will discuss the production scheduling profile settings okay so so first we'll start with the creation of tr for components for material staging okay so there will be a transfer requirement generation okay when you when you release the production order we create the production order and when we release it there will be a tr generation this is the one so from pp side we we create and release the order when we release the order order the components there will be a transfer requirement generation tr okay this this is the basic integration after that wm team will take over and they will do their activities they will they will confirm they will convert this tr to to transfer order and based on that the material staging will happen this is wm part okay so in this session we will be covering only generating the tr from the production order that we will see in this in this session basically okay and also the the settings required for that what master data what configuration settings we have to do from pp side and from wm side i will show you okay so basically as, as i just explained the interface between the warehouse management system and the production planning ensures direct material staging to the production supply areas from the warehouse okay so what is this production supply area also we will discuss so what happens is this is the flow so from the pp from the pp we create production order production order and then we release the production order so that time for the staging of the components there will be a transfer requirement generation tr and then they will convert this to transfer order okay and then they will confirm the to and then they will move the stocks so this happens in the w basically warehouse management after that uh, when we confirm the production order normally through backflash we will consume the components already we have discussed what is backflash all those stuff we have discussed okay so first i will show you some configuration settings and then we will go to the production supply area okay so basically i am into the system okay so what you need to do is I'll just put it in a notepad file. You have the plant. In this case, the plant is 001. Okay. And the storage location is 0088. Okay. So let me go to SAP reference IMG. Okay. You go to enterprise structure. Okay. You go to assignment go to logistics execution here assign warehouse number to plant and storage location of course this is a wm setting not we will not be doing this but anyhow just i will show you so if you see here my plant is triple zero one and the storage location is double zero double eight and they have assigned a warehouse number called double zero one warehouse 
those number is double zero. They, they will assign. This is WM set. So your storage 